Welcome back to Adelante Chicago. You can hear him every morning on the radio as part of the morning crew for B96. The homegrown Chicagoan is giving back through a number of different projects. A big welcome to one of my favorites. There he is. Look at that smile. Gabe Ramirez, <laughs> how you. are you? I'm doing very good. good. Oh, you're one of my favorites, oh, so this is good. Look at that. Go out. on, go on. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you came because you've become such a face for not just Chicagoans, but the Latino community yeah. uh, in Chicago. And I think it's important that people meet you. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your background because as I said, you are a Chicago boy. Through and through. Through and through. Chicago guy. Um, you know, born and raised here in Chicago, uh, mm -hmm. like the Humble Park, Logan Square area. Uh, just lived my whole life here. Went to Lane Tech, you know, went to UIC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I feel like that's why I really identify with a lot of the Latinos, and especially the youth, uh, because I kind of mirror their lifestyle, their grit, their grind. And yeah. I think that's for, at the forefront of why I feel like I identify with them for okay. sure. Okay, and you are doing spectacular on the radio and a <laughs> bunch of different projects that you're working on. Um, how did you even get into radio? How did that come about? It's interesting. Uh, I actually used to be in a singing group. Really? I know, right? Okay. Don't ask me to perform. Okay. Well. Uh, but I actually performed here at WGN. <laughs> Uh, during we your, didn't. We couldn't pull that thank video. Thank God, you couldn't pull that video. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's how my love for music started. And then, you know, there comes a point in life when most uh, young people they say to themselves, "Well, what do I want to do right. uh, with the rest of my life?" Right. And so for me, it was finding something that I was passionate about. I knew that mm -hmm. at an early age. And so when I went to school, I thought, you know, what better way to express that passion for music than by uh, working in radio? You know, I, I wanted to be able to wear whatever I wanted to wear every yeah. day, uh, while at the same time, you know, being a voice. So. That was how I fell in, and then actually, you know, uh, Chicago radio veterans, Eddie mm -hmm. and Jobo. Um, that's how I got my start. I used to play on a radio station softball league. Uh, so Eddie was on the team, and be that was before I even worked at b So you did it through networking? I was the Latino ringer. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing center field, second base, and batting third on the team, and then uh, eventually on, uh, I was hanging out with Eddie for a couple of years, actually, before I even mentioned to him that I was the music director and that I worked at UIC mm -hmm. Radio. And okay. so I remember asking him right before my senior year, I was like, should I get an internship? Or should I actually just apply for a job? And he's like, you know, what are you talking about? I was like, well, I do radio. You know, he's like, what? We've been hanging out for almost two years. Mm -hmm. And that was on a Wednesday. That Monday, I was the first intern they had in seven years. Wow. So yeah, you know, internships are so important. I tell p kids that all the time. And uh, you know, once you get your foot in the door uh, with the Chicago grind and the Chicago mentality, yeah. you, know, you can't outwork some people. And I, I think it's so important to network and you saw it through your story. Yes. You have become such a role model, I think, for youth, mm -hmm. Latino youth yes. in particular, through a number of different things that you do. Let me kind of run through it. Pennies for Puerto Rico, that was something that you worked on. Yes. Your Bears ambassador, Real Men Wear Pink for breast cancer, yeah. which is something you've taken on. What's that like to be become that sort of role model yeah. for Latino youth, and how do you navigate that? Yeah, well, I think first, and just speaking to the organizations that I work with, I think a lot of times uh, people feel like when they have to help out, they need it has to be in the form, a monetary form, right? And I think that that's not the case at all. And I definitely try to tell people it, it could be a, a retweet on Twitter, it could be a post on Facebook, yeah. it could be a like on Instagram. And for me, um, you know, I don't have a million dollars to dole out, but I can host an event. I can, you know, bring some light uh, to an organization's cause. Um, and then when it comes to the youth, I feel like when you're leading by example mm -hmm. like that, a lot of times, you know, being from the inner city, you know, everyone has the same story. I have family members that were gangbangers, drug dealers, right. you know, and we've all dealt with that. But it's about, do you have an example, someone you could look at um, to say, hey, I, this is an outlet, this is an alternative to a reality. And I think that that's something that I pride myself in and being that individual for, the, for those people, for all sure. All right, Gabe Ramirez, if you didn't recognize the voice, start <laughs> listening. You'll hear him on B96 every morning, Monday through Friday. Gabe, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very You're much. You're doing wonderful things, so keep it up. Thank you. Okay.